Hey guys, Professor Mike here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're going to go over the top three best mods that you can do to your truck to make that thing faster. So, you guys probably know my truck is stock right now. I haven't done anything performance wise to it. But if I could come up with the top three best bang for your buck mods to make your truck faster, this would be them. I start if you guys are new to the channel go ahead and subscribe and like I post new videos every Wednesday and Sunday 8 p.m. I'm also posting on Fridays a subscriber exhaust clip or a subscriber to clip of their car or their truck whatever it is if you want to send those uh, submissions in go ahead and email me at professor co at gmail.com you can also DM me on Instagram at professor trucks and um, give me the specs of the make and model of your vehicle and I'll go ahead and post on the channel every Friday so going into the top three mods, the first one I'm going to talk about is a full-on exhaust system. Now I'm not just talking about a cat back or anything or an axle back. I'm talking about a full-on exhaust system from the headers to the X-pipe or the H-pipe to the cats all the way down to the axles to the tips. So the reason why I'm going with the ex uh, full-on exhaust system is because it's probably the easiest and best way to get more free-flowing uh, exhaust, to get better sound, um, to get better performance um, especially if you go from the engine from the headers all the way back you're basically cutting out a lot of the restriction that comes from the factory so like for example when manufacturers make cars they actually really really restrict the performance of it um, to give it better gas mileage or to cut down on the sound um, so if you basically take out all those restrictions you're gonna have better free-flowing exhaust less restriction more horsepower so you get long tube headers or just shorty headers, um, you take the catalytic converters out and just go with an off-road X-pipe or an H-pipe, or you do a cat-back system, it basically re uh, takes out the muffler, it takes out a lot of the restriction, and it really frees up horsepower. The only downside of this is it's very expensive to do a full exhaust system kit. You know, the cat-back system is probably a thousand dollars, and then the uh, mid-pipe system, probably like another two to three hundred the headers are probably like another three hundred so you're probably looking close to two thousand dollars for a full system and that's just like on the cheap end like if you're going with cooks headers or stainless works headers those are very expensive uh, and but really high quality parts but that's gonna be a pretty drastic price difference uh, between just like regular BBK headers or something like that so this is number one I think it's a great mod because it gives you that awesome power especially if you have a V8 system and in the EcoBoosts, if you free up a lot of uh, restrictions, those turbos can really make quick horsepower. If you're running a lot of boosts, no restrictions, they really, really perform. So just so that's the number one best mod you can do to make your truck faster. And number two, probably the easiest mod that you can do is get yourself a tuner. So for like for me, I had the uh, XF4, the S, the XF, I had the SCT X4 tuner for my Mustang basically plug and play. You can re receive the tuner uh, and then you can actually go onto the website, MPT Performance, you can go to Bama, um, you can go to Lund Racing, there's all the different companies that make tunes. Uh, you can ex basically customize a tune specifically for your make and model. So if I have a 2018 F-150 four wheel drive, these are the parts I have, I have a cold air intake, I have a uh, Roush cat bag, whatever it is I have done to it, you put all those specific things in and then they'll send you a tuner through the email and then you can actually download it to your tuner box and then go ahead and plug into your OBD2 port, download the tune, and uh, boom, your car instantly is performing with higher torque, throttle response, horsepower, timing, all of that. Now, if you wanna really dive deep into a dyno tune uh, where they really tweak the numbers to the pinpoint where they, it's not just a email tune, they uh, do a lot of recalibrations and do a road test and their uh, data logging, and if you do all that, you're actually gonna get more horsepower and probably get the best performance, but that's gonna be a little bit more expensive. So I'd say a tune is probably the number one quickest and best way to get great performance without spending, you know, $10,000 on a supercharger kit. And lastly, the third thing that you can do for your F-150 or any kind of truck to make that thing faster, is go ahead and swap the intake manifold for like for example if i have a mustang or a f-150 so like the shelby gt350 intake manifold is the same it's still a 5.0 engine but 
way less restriction it's uh ported polished all of that and that definitely will increase the horsepower and throttle response torque all that from your truck um i know people talk about cold air intakes and throttle bodies and all that yeah i mean i really don't see the upside to that i mean i'm probably still going to end up getting a cold air intake throttle body. that's pretty basically what you do it's like a basic bolt-on part but you're not going to really see any kind of noticeable horsepower gains especially if you're not running a tune at all with that like paired together uh, so i would say the intake manifold is probably around the same price maybe a little bit more but it's definitely a way better bang for your buck horsepower like the dollar for dollar for horsepower for horsepower difference is drastically better than just like an intake uh colder intake system or like a throttle body you put like a gt350 intake manifold with stainless works long tube headers x pipes cat back systems and then you tune it all together you're going to see a huge noticeable horsepower gain like I said, without spending five, ten thousand dollars on a full-on supercharger kit. That's basically the mods that you can do, the best bolt-on mods that you can do that are not gonna break the bank, but they're gonna give you the you know a pretty decent amount of performance out of your car. And you're definitely gonna feel it's very noticeable, especially when paired with a tune. That's why I said number the tune is really where everything comes together. If there was one mod out of this entire video for the best bang for your buck and to get the truck faster would be just to tune it. Basically, just get the handheld tuner, get an email tune sent to you, plug it in, boom, you already have noticeable amount of horsepower gain. Um, not quite sure on how much, maybe like 20, 25 horsepower. It really depends on the tune, the company, um, what you're already running, all this stuff, what you're, what you're pairing it with. So hopefully this video kind of cleared up some questions that you guys may have had on, you know, how can I make my vehicle faster? I don't want to spend $10,000, $5,000 on a supercharger kit. I just wanted to get a little bit more pep in its step. And sometimes it's not about all horsepower. You know, they're saying, they say horsepower sells cars, but torque wins races. So people say like 600 horsepower, they, but if you don't have the torque, you really don't get to feel that. So what a lot of people do is like a, um, a throttle response booster or like a pedal command controller uh, to really like recalibrate where the horsepower is laid down. Uh, so it like gives you really better throttle response. It's like driving a car and you put in sport mode all of a sudden you just like feel like it's faster, but it's really not. It's the same amount of horsepower, just better throttle response. And that's where you, that's what people are talking about when they want their car to be faster or the truck. They just want that, that get up and go, like that quickness. Like obviously you're not going to be using up the max potential of your horsepower on a street because you cannot drive that fast on a street legally. Um, so when they're thinking of like stuff like that, a pedal man, a pedal controller, what is it called? A pedal command controller or a throttle booster controller. Those are also um, mods. They're not gonna add horsepower and make it faster. They're just gonna give that pep, that get up and go kind of feeling. So there you guys go. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, go ahead and leave a like so that YouTube will share this video with other people. And like I said, if you wanna go ahead and submit your submissions to my email or DM, I'll go ahead and post you on Fridays. Go ahead and tag your Instagram and all that. Just go ahead and tell me the make and model of the vehicle, what mods you have done to it. And then I'll put links in the description where people can actually go out to on the website and purchase those mods if they have that similar make and model vehicle. But other than that guys, I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.